Hey everyone, Mikey here with Electrek, and Rad Power Bikes has just unveiled their biggest e-bike, quite literally, to date, the Rad Trike. It's a three-wheeled electric bike, a tricycle, though tricycle sounds like something you rode when you were two, so let's call it a trike, not a tricycle. The Rad Trike was just unveiled a few minutes ago. We've already got one on the way, so we can do our own testing and in-depth review. But before that, we're gonna start by showing you guys the tech specs and all the info that you wanna know, starting off with the price. So the Rad Trike is priced at $2,499, making it the most expensive Rad to date, though there's a lot going on here. And also, if you compare that price to other electric tricycles in the industry, I've tested a lot of e-trikes, and the prices range from several hundred dollars to several thousand dollars more than the Rad Trike. So $2,500, it might sound like a lot compared to their $1,200, $1,500, $1,800 bikes, but it's actually pretty affordable compared to most e-trikes. Now moving on with the tech specs, the bike comes with a 750 watt motor in the front wheel. This is the first time we've seen a front wheel motor from Rad on their consumer bikes. And it comes paired with a 500 watt hour battery mounted on the down tube. There's a step through design right by that battery. And you can also see that the battery case seems to be a new updated design. It's got a more precise 10 segment LED state of charge meter there. So you get a better idea of how much charge you actually have left in that battery if you have it off of the bike. Now, speaking of that 750 watt motor there, it's pretty powerful, but the bike is still limited to just 14 miles per hour. That probably sounds pretty slow, but if you've ever ridden a trike before, you'll know that it feels like you're going a lot faster than you really are. And the thing about trikes, of course, is that they get a bit tippy when you're going fast, especially when you start making turns. So the most important thing to know about riding a trike is that when you want to turn, you really have to slow it down. And of course, Rad is the largest e-bike company in the US, is kind of a city on a hill. Everyone's looking at it and it has to set a good example for safety. So they're not gonna come out with a trike that people are gonna be flipping left and right. Of course, at 14 miles an hour, you can of course still flip a trike, so you gotta be careful but this lower top speed is definitely gonna be more in line with the type of riders Rad is targeting, which of course the major market for electric trikes are going to be older folks, people with mobility issues, and of course the utility market. Now speaking of that utility, the Rad trike actually fits most of the accessories that already come in that Rad line. So things like those uh, rear baskets, the front baskets, all sorts of other accessories are all gonna be compatible here. And that's great for utility because it means you can really load that sucker up. To me, trikes have always been sort of like the SUVs or the pickup trucks of the e-bike world, just because they offer so much utility in addition to the stability of those three wheels. Now, when it comes to those wheels, you might be wondering what tire size that is. When I first saw these photos, I was like, are those 16s or 20s? And it turns out they're neither. They're right in the middle at 18 inches. 18 is still a standard size, it's a bit less common, but most bike shops are still gonna have 18 inch tires and tubes, and of course you can find them all over online. That 18 inch tire is kind of a compromise too, because 16 inch tires are nice because they make those wheels really small and compact, but they have worse ride characteristics. You know, when you hit bumps, you feel it a lot more. And so a larger wheel like a 20 is better for rolling over imperfect roads. An 18 inch wheel right in the middle sort of gets the best of both worlds. It's compact while still offering a bigger wheel for a better ride size. Now the Rad Trike is also wider in the back. I was speaking to Mike Radenbaugh, the founder of Rad Power Bikes a few days ago, and he was telling me how they basically made it as wide as possible in the back while still keeping it narrow enough to fit through an exterior doorway. That way it's as stable as possible. And you can see looking at this thing, it's pretty wide in the back there. Now again, you know, you still gotta be careful. It is a trike, it can tip, but by making a wider rear end there, they're trying to make it as stable as possible. Going a little further into the back of the trike there, we can see that there's a single speed setup and a coaster brake back there. That might sound strange, but it means that it's gonna be more intuitive for people who are used to those simple beach cruisers or maybe haven't been on a bike since they rode a trike as a kid and they had that coaster brake. So basically you pedal backwards, it activates the rear brake and you've got that front disc brake up on the left handlebar. You notice the right handlebar, that's empty. There's nothing up there because there's just no brake lever for the rear brakes. All you have on that side is a throttle. Now you do have throttle control and pedal assist here on the Rad Trike. Throttle will take you all the way up to 14 miles per hour and the pedal assist from level one to five will also get you up there if you put it in the highest pedal assist. But Mike was telling me something interesting that the lowest pedal assist level, level one, is actually designed to move at walking pace, which is kind of a neat feature because that means that if someone is riding along next to their partner who's walking, they can be on the rad trike and still pedal and you know make a decent effort, but they're not moving so fast that someone walking with them can't keep up. So kind of a cool feature. Now I have to imagine that the pedal cadence is designed more for the middle range, probably like eight to 10 miles per hour is the sweet spot. I bet when you're going 14 miles an hour, your feet are gonna be moving pretty fast. So 
if you're riding this thing full out, it's probably gonna be nicer on throttle. But for anyone who wants to keep it in like level two, three, maybe four pedal assist, I imagine it's gonna be a nice eight to 10 mile an hour kind of ride. Now I'm actually really excited for the Rad Trike. I know that probably the majority of the market are going to be older folks and people with mobility issues that just don't have the balance required anymore for riding a typical two-wheeled bike, but I think there's a lot more utility out there. I mean, even someone my age, I'm 33, I would love to ride this thing just because of the cargo capacity. You can load this sucker up. Now, the other thing that Rad isn't really talking about, because I don't think they want to market this as being something that you load up with kids, but seriously, as a kid transporter, I think this could be awesome. You want to be careful when you got kids back there. Obviously, you know, safety, liability, it's all very important. But where I live in Tel Aviv, you see people riding electric tricycles all the time, and they've got two or three kids on a bench back there. I've even seen a dad with four kids on electric trike. One kid in that front holder that's, you know, right behind the handlebars, and three kids on a bench in the back. So you can actually put a lot of kids on these things and make this a second vehicle. You know, you can do uh, carpool, school drop-off, that sort of thing, and you don't even need a second car. You can have that one family car, and then you've got your electric trike for doing all of your other cargo, kid dropping, all that other kind of utility stuff. So I think there's a lot of use out there for electric trikes, and I am excited to see the Rad Trike coming as an affordable option in a market full of three, four, five thousand dollar electric trikes. So thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you stay tuned because pretty soon we're gonna have our own Rad Trike. We're gonna be doing an in-depth review. But if you wanna go ahead and grab one yourself, there is a link below this video in the description where you can find the Rad Trike already on sale. It'll begin shipping in January of 2023. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you here next time.